All right, what's up, guys? Let's do this. Um, imagine block A and B are held stationary by unseen forces. When those forces are removed, what happens? Um, this question is a little hypothetical. And it's a little annoying. You gotta scroll down just a little bit, and it says, um, if block A has a weight of 98.1, or sorry, 9.81 newtons, and block B has a weight of 19.62 newtons, find the acceleration. So you kind of actually have to use that information to to figure out what happens. So uh, once again, that's what's Red weights. Um, A is 9.81. So that's when it says weight, that's I'm talking about the FG equals 9.81 newtons. And this one has an FG equal to 19.62 newtons. Okay, so since for the first one, since this one is heavier, you assume looking at this system just using a little common sense that this guy is going to pull down this direction and it's going to pull this guy up. Let's uh, let's actually draw a real quick free body diagram. Um, let's just green. You have uh, FG and FG. You notice this FG, I'm going to draw smaller. And then if you want, you're going to have all your fun tensions. Oh, no, I don't want that. Come on, go back to green. So you have a tension pulling this one up. Attention pulling this one up, attention pulling this one down, attention pulling down here. Now remember all these tensions are going to cancel out, so what you end up seeing is this force right here is much bigger. It's going to cause the system to kind of turn counterclockwise, and B is going to go down, and A is going to go up. So that's what's going to happen. Let's do a quick calculations, guys, because it says um, uh, if black A and had block, uh, if block A had a weight of 9.81 and block B had a weight of 19.62, find the acceleration of the system. So the thing you have to realize is that um, all your tensions cancel out. So you're left with F net equals F G A plus F G B. And then realizing that uh, A is 9.81, and this is 9.81 newtons, and then B is going to be 19.62 newtons. That's going to equal your F net. Now, Ms. Shaw's made a, a mistake, and I'm going to fix it shortly. The thing you have to realize is that these two forces are in opposite directions. You notice. Uh, B wants it to turn counterclockwise, A wants to turn clockwise, so let's give a, let's make this one negative, just for, for fun's sake today. That's going to be negative. So your F net is actually going to be equal to negative 9.81 newtons. Now the problem they'll ask, uh, find the acceleration of the system. So let's go back over here, we have to find the acceleration. Now, the key thing, guys, remember there are two F net formulas or ways to find F net. Uh, first, F net is the sum of all the forces. We did that right there. The next one is F net equals MA. Now, this one's going to be a little difficult because we don't have our masses. What are our masses? We need to find the mass of A and add it to the mass of B. But guys, please don't think that these are our masses. These are our forces of gravity. So what you have to do to get mass from force of gravity, force of gravity equals mg. So what you basically have to do is divide both sides by 9.81. Now remember, these numbers, they both should be negative. Uh, your mass is going to be a positive number. So hopefully, real quick, you will take a look. When you take A and divide it by 9.81, so you're going to go, uh, F G A equals 9.81. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the negative. Uh, Newtons uh, equals the mass times 9.81. We're going to space. We're going to leave my units off there. And divide both sides by 9.81. You get your uh, this M, this MA right here. That, in fact, is going to be the value of 1. Please make sure you can do this. And your mass of B is actually just to, for the sake of saving time is going to be two. And and if uh, that's just going to be all you really need to do, you're going to have. I'm going to just go up. Actually, I have more space there. You have three, which is one plus two, 
kg times acceleration. So I said the mass of A is 1, the mass of B is 2 kg. And that is going to equal my F net. I don't want to skip too many steps, but I don't want to go too slow. And remember, um, we also solved already for our F nets, and it equals, it's equal to negative 9.81. So you say negative 9.81 newtons equals, sorry, that doesn't look like a newtons, but it is 3 kg times that. Okay, cool.